Shabbat Shalom. Before we uh, proceed with the installation, I'd like to invite Lil Schlachter to the BIMA, our Executive Vice President, uh, both uh, present and uh, future, uh, to the BIMA to make a presentation. Shabbat Shalom, everybody, and it's good to see you all here on this Shabbat night. Uh, before I make a presentation to our outgoing president, I would like to thank all the officers and trustees who have worked hard with hours and dedication who are going off the board. And those uh, officers who are going off the board are Laura Leventhal and Jenny Mills, and trustees are Ruth Elliott and David Astro. Uh, Matt, will you join me? No. <laughs> He doesn't. It, it's been really fun working with Matt. And we can honestly say that we are the only uh, congregation that has a chef amongst us <laughs> whose brisket is the best. And he does a wonderful job doing his brisket. And we have all tasted all his nice things. Matt's goal was to make Temple Emmanuel the best that it could be. And I think he's reached that goal. He's helped us to devise a new vision statement that will propel us into the future that our ongoing board of trustees will continue working on, as well as all of you who are sitting here tonight. As we read in some of the liturgy that we just looked at, by joining hands, we move forward. And unless we all join hands together and work together, that's not going to happen. And so we need all of you to be a part of this, those of you sitting here, and those of you, hello, who aren't here, but who are watching. So we thank you. So Matt, since this is your first gift from us, would you please open it? Sure. To say thank you and recognition as to who you are. I somehow knew that that's what was in there. When I you want me to put it on? Oh, absolutely. Maybe there's something else in it. Yeah. Oh, there's something else in it. Other than your hand. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. Why not? Okay. Does that does that be fit? Just kidding. I'm gonna have to do it. Right. <laughs> and, and this is a little token, maybe a big token, of what uh, we want to say. Thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Too. That's up to you if you'd like to, sure. Okay. okay. This is like a Chinese puzzle box. <laughs> I promise you there's only one box to open. Okay. Catering to my taste. Uh, it says for Matt, whose goal is to make Temple Emmanuel the best it can be. Thank you. going to say thank you. Why don't you just take the box and I'll take the paper. Like that. And now if you will turn to the program for the installation, which is found in your booklet for this evening, we're going to be pretty much following the order a bit. We gathered this Shabbat, not just to welcome this Shabbat, but also to install those who have been chosen to lead Temple Emmanuel. How many times have we heard that phrase, those who have been chosen? How conscious we are of the process of choosing or being chosen. How aware we are of what it means to be chosen. The history of our people puts strong emphasis 
on the principle that individuals were chosen by God for specific roles of leadership. Abraham, Noah, Moshe, Yeshayahu, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Dvorah. Are we to think of these as random selections of leaders? Was it simply a matter of being at a certain place at a certain time? Or was there a pattern, a common denominator shared by those people that God chose? Was it that each of them had had the ability to hear the voice of God, that their ears were open to God's words? And having heard, was it that they had the faith to respond, that they chose to obey? Could it be that these leaders were chosen by God because they chose God? Together, at this sacred moment, as a Kehillah Kedoshah, a holy congregation. It's coming in. I would like to ask the incoming and continuing leaders of the women of Temple Emmanuel who are here to please come to the Bima. Our new officers and continuing officers are Percy Gershon, President, Eileen Pritzker, Treasurer, <coughs> Lee Haas is Secretary, Sandy Levine chairing the Hanukkah Boutique, Diane Zucker, the Invitations, Pam Richards as the, the Gift Shop, and Linda Atkinson and Helen Weisler who uh, continue to lead the Mystery Circle. And it's such a mystery, I don't even know the answer to that. Deborah, a prophet, judged Israel. She lived under the palm tree of Devorah between Ramah and Beit El in Har Ephraim in Mount Ephraim, and the people came to her for judgment. Deborah was only the first of many women who have contributed to and supported the continuation of the people of Israel, each in their own communities throughout the world and throughout our history. And so we are pleased to install this next generation or this next year of leadership in the women of Temple Emmanuel. Ladies, you are each hereby installed in your respective offices and along with those who are being installed in absentia, but not against their will, of course. Um, may this year bring the, the women of Temple Emmanuel to new and renewed strength. Mazal tov. Step down to the. Why don't you just step? Why don't you just step down to the mezzanine, and uh, and Andrea will take your picture. The incoming officers of the Brotherhood are Alan Levine, who is home ill tonight and could not be here, Len Gold and Michael Holub as Vice Presidents of Programming, Dennis Malkin and Harlan Ullman, Vice Presidents of Staka, Joel Greenberg, Vice President of Chuvant Villa, Mitch Kronig, Vice President of Membership, Jeff Brooks as Treasurer, and Warren Snow as Secretary. Small group. Well, Alan couldn't be here. Joshua called the Reubenites and Gadites and part of the tribe of Manasseh and said to them, You have kept all that Moses, the servant of God, commanded you. You have obeyed my voice in all that I commanded. You have not abandoned your brothers in these many days, but have kept charge of the commandments of the Lord your God. Our brotherhood has brought many many innovations and special programs to our congregation. Uh, I, with Len standing here, I would be remiss if I did not mention the, uh, how many years of sports nights now? 27. 27 years <coughs> of sports nights, and they get stronger and stronger. We thank the Brotherhood for all it does for our congregation, for supporting and our religious school, for making gentlemen available, and also ladies available to help with minyanim uh, when people are in mourning. 
Um, and our, of course, our wonderful ushers, without whom our services would not run so smoothly. Gentlemen, and those in absentia, you are hereby installed in your respective officer, offices. May you go from strength to strength. Mazal tov. Mazal tov. Please pause for your official portrait. <laughs> Uh, in addition, I should have mentioned, my mistake, that the at-large directors of the Brotherhood who are not past presidents <coughs> include Earl Cohen, Bobby Tanan, who is here, Michael Eisner, and Mark Baxt. I would like now to invite the incoming and continuing trustees of the congregation uh, to come forward. Here's where we're going out of order. Rabbi Judah, the editor of the Mishnah, called the leaders of the community Ne'emanim, literally trusted ones, because of the births, and I will clothe him with, ro with robes and strengthen with your sash, and I will commit <coughs> your governance to his hands, and these trustees shall be the parents to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the house of Judah, the house of Israel, wherever they reside. Our, throughout our history, we have called the leaders of our communities many different names, most of them polite. Um, but one of the most important of those names was, in fact, the title given by Rabbi Judah in the first and second century, which was Ne'eman, someone who was trustworthy, who was entrusted with the fiscal responsibility, the fiduciary responsibility of our congregation to help guide and lead us in all manners of our affairs. We install this evening as trustees, new and continuing, Shelley Baskin, David Blumenthal, <coughs> Michelle Bugamalny, Jeff Brooks, Tracy Gert, Larry Goddard, Rick Gross, Peter Haas, Lori Kaplan, Evan Klotzman, Art Krauss, Regina Olbinski, Adam Wallenstein, Adam Weisberg, Marilyn Zoss, and Martha Zlotnick. And also on a board of trustees are the representatives of our various affiliates, Mitch Kronig, Alan Levine, Percy Gershon, Chad Abrams, who is not here, and in fact, our incoming president's family is not here because Chad started a program <coughs> at Kutz Camp this afternoon. We sent Dad back ahead, but the rest of the family is on the road back from New York, and Michael Kohler, and of course, our life trustees. Rick Horvitz continues as a life trustee, and our newly, newly elected life trustee, uh, Stan Blum. It's an honor we don't give out very easily, but wholly deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you are hereby installed in your respective uh, places on the board. Um, may you be given the strength to fulfill your functions in a collegial manner, um, but also in one in which you understand that you, in fact, are the ones who bear the ultimate legal and moral responsibility for the health and the welfare of our sacred community. You are hereby installed. Mazal Tov. Please step down for your photo. Stand up there a little bit.
Shoftim v'shotrim, judges and officers you shall appoint at your gates, which the Lord God gives you throughout your tribes, and they shall judge your people with just judgment. You stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, as the captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, along with all the people of Israel. Our executive committee, made up of our officer corps, um, is like the uh, investigators that we see in this week's Torah portion and Haftarah. The first, of course, Moses sending out the representatives of each of the tribes, and later after that, Joshua <coughs> sending out the um, representatives of the people to investigate the land ahead. Uh, you on the executive committee are the, uh, the steering wheel uh, of the larger ship, uh, helping us uh, set our course, helping us to identify issues and shoals uh, in the river, as it were, um, but also helping to lead the board and direct the board, and also, of course, taking responsibility for each of your specific offices. And so tonight, we install Lillian Schlachter as executive vice president, Sue Krantz as vice president and treasurer, Darcy Hershey as a vice president, Pam Richards as a vice president, David Sperling as a vice president, and Jenny Walensky as a secretary. Gentlemen and ladies, uh, we install each, hereby install each of you in your specific offices uh, as members of our executive committee. May God bring you from strength to strength. You are hereby installed. If you pause for your first. When Moses turned the leadership of the Jewish people over to his successor, Joshua, Moses said in several different ways, Chazak v'amatz, may you be strong and be strengthened. These are two different words in our tradition. Chazak means that you have the strength within yourself, the strength within yourself to understand what this congregation is, what it stands for, within itself, but also within the greater household of the people of Israel. Va'amatz, that's a verb that usually refers to things that people do for us. So we pray, Adam, as you are now our new president, that you have within yourself, we know you have it, and that God helps you in that strength, because sometimes it's not easy, um, that you have both the inner strength and the strength that all of us, the staff, the clergy, your officers, and your trustees, that we all have the wisdom to strengthen you in the projects that you will undertake and the leadership that you will give us. May this year ahead be a blessing for you and for our entire congregation. Mazal Tov, President of Temple Emmanuel. Thank you very much. Let's get our picture taken. Ladies and gentlemen, your new president. Shabbat shalom. To take a quote from someone that I admire, LeBron James. I'm just a kid from Mayfield. While growing up, my family and I were members of Park Synagogue. I was bar mitzvahed and confirmed there. My parents instilled in me that being Jewish wasn't just a religion, but it was a way of life. When I met Carolyn, we quickly realized that we shared that same value. Some others as well. At that time, Carolyn lived in Cincinnati. After we got married, we joined Park Synagogue. We really didn't know what else was out there. While growing up at Park, I did have great awe for Rabbi Cohn, admiration for Rabbi Scoff, 
There was just something missing from all my years there. Ooh, that's a good or bad thing. So <clears throat> when our children began to grow, Chad, Peter, and Jessica, Carolyn and myself wanted, no, we really needed, to become more engaged and form lifelong, lasting relationships. You'll hear those words a lot over the next two years, engage and relationships. So on the first Shabbat service in 2008, here in this very sanctuary, before we even joined, Carolyn and I came to check out this new Temple Emmanuel. What we found was this warm and very welcoming community, the one that we yearned for so much. The following week, we joined. We joined not because I inspired to become the president of the temple one day, not only because Carolyn and I loved the rabbi, the cantor, the staff, and the facility. We joined because we felt at home, at a synagogue that gave us the opportunity for us and our children to engage and form relationships with other congregants who shared similar values and principles for their lives and our religion. Since 2008, both Temple Emmanuel and the Abrams family have come a long way. Carolyn is Temple's early childhood engagement director and parent-child Hebrew teacher. Our children have all blossomed to become leaders in our youth groups. Chad is now co-president of Tempty, Peter is vice president of membership of Tempty, and Jessica, who stood up here just three weeks ago to become a bat mitzvah, is our junior youth group, Jetty's president as well. To say the Abrams are engaged in relational here at Temple Emmanuel is putting it mildly. Temple has come a long way as well. The leading synagogue in the southeast suburbs of Cleveland, a foresight that many in this room knew was something that needed to be done when searching for a new home in the early 2000s. The task of constructing this wonderful facility was an over $12 million undertaking. Today, we are only left with $2.5 million from the financing of the building to be complete. We have an amazing staff many who have been here for a long time, such as Renee and Ina, Judy, Andrea, Beth, and Rachel, and some who are newer, like Marla Wolf, our new education director, and Katie Theobald, our new preschool director, our wonderful clergy, Rabbi Danker, Cantor Rick, who engage, lead, and inspire us all. We have a facility that has not only become a wonderful place to host a B'nai Mitzvah or Jewish wedding party, but has become a popular rental spot for organizations outside of our walls, for business meetings and other party ceremonies as well. We still have much to grow and, we and can accomplish over the next two years. Among the many, there are two specific things I would like to discuss with you tonight. The first is to announce that the Board of Trustees, the one installed here this evening, along with Renee, our Executive Director, is embracing a new and wonderful leadership project this year. The Legacy Heritage Onboard Program out of New York has selected Temple Emmanuel as one of the Jewish organizations in Cleveland to participate in Leadership Growth Program. Coordinated by Lillian and Renee, we submitted a grant proposal to receive funding to hire an outside consultant, John Yankee, Dr. John Yankee, excuse me, a professor at Case Western Reserve. Dr. Yankee and his graduate students will be contacting some of you, our members, both young and old. Through retreats and focus groups that they will conduct, they will be collecting data which will be evaluated and analyzed to see how Temple Emmanuel can review our current bylaws and constitution, make changes and updates as needed. In addition, monthly, David Blumenthal is taking classes to help engage our board and our members in the best leadership skills as they relate to Jewish studies and values. This program allows us to continue our evolution for Temple Emmanuel into the future as a progressive congregation that exceeds the needs of its members. The $15,000 grant received for this project will in return give us over $50,000 worth of consultation time, guidance, and help. Secondly, by March of 2019, our responsibility to refinance that remaining $2.5 million of the mortgage that I mentioned earlier will become due. Our capital campaign's first phase is complete, and I'm very happy to announce that we have raised over $255,000 to date. 
the hard work of Judy Urim and Art Krauss, among so many other members who worked over the past few months, reached out to over 167 family members to successfully com complete this important first phase of the campaign. It is my goal to exceed the campaign's goal, and that is to collect $1.5 million and put us in the position to eliminate the mortgage within the early 2020s. Those are only two of the many items on the board's agendas for the next two years. I hope you will become even more engaged and create more relationships so that we can enjoy them all together. Lastly, I want to thank my family, Carolyn, Chad, Peter, and Jessica. Ironically, in the interest of Jewish leadership and engagement, as Rabbi mentioned earlier, Carolyn, Peter, and Jessica are en route on their way home as we speak after dropping Chad off this afternoon at Kutz Jewish Leadership Camp in New York. We all drove out together to New York, leaving the house this past Tuesday. We had an amazing 48 hours in the Big Apple in New York City. I flew home this morning so that I could be with you here today for this honor, and Carolyn continued by car. She dropped off Chad this afternoon. And while they are missing <clears throat> tonight and dearly wanted to be here, I am thrilled that Chad is going to have this opportunity, and Carolyn was able to just give him one last hug on the campground. My working hard is nothing new to my family. They're used to hearing me say things like, I have a meeting, or I have to go measure a client's kitchen. We sat down together when asked about this position and all decided to embrace the opportunity. They were very excited for the new twist to my days that it will bring. I'd also like to thank my father and mother and father-in-law, as they are both very much supportive in everything that both me and my family do. So thank you to all for that being so amazing, so wonderful, and so supportive. In closing, there will be many more events, such as holidays, simchas, life cycle events, that we'll all share together in the next two years. I'm very proud to take on this exciting encounter and proud to be Temple Emanuel's 2017 to 2019 president. Thank you very much. Shabbat Shalom. Stay right here. Now, if all the if all the officers, yeah, you got to keep your um, where my little matzah get little little thing there now. It's attached to you. Yes. The um, if all the officers and folks who we installed this evening will rise for a moment. Cantor and I would like to ask God's choices of blessings upon our president and all of you. May God bless you and keep you. May God's countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Each of you individually and collectively be uplifted in God's presence and help to bring our community wholeness and peace. Mazal Tov. Shechianu v'kiamanu v'higianu l'azman hazeh. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, who has vouched us alive, that saved us to be alive, and to be able to celebrate this moment together. We continue with Aleinu.